Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video I'm going to do something that's either really cool and like a fun new thing to experiment with, or it's going to be really dumb and a complete mistake and uh, just a total disaster. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm going to take this uh, this Firefly Double Cut DC Junior sort of thing here. That was a little redundant. But anyways, I'm going to take this guitar that I've already established I don't really like, but I'm going to use it to experiment with some kind of like finishing graphic type options. I've got this heat transfer vinyl stuff here uh, with a holographic kind of glittery effect to it. And I want to try to iron on racing stripes onto this. And then if it works, maybe a few other little designs or something. Uh, I've tried this in the past. I experimented with it, not on a guitar, but I was experimenting with it on a piece of test wood with this glitter heat transfer vinyl. And uh, what I found out with the glitter stuff is that when you peel away the protective covering that allows you to iron it down, this glitter actually has a glitter texture to it and that's not something I want on a guitar. So I abandoned that idea, but when I saw this holographic stuff, I was like, hey, that might work. And I've got a guitar that I think it'll look cool on and I don't really care about this guitar. So uh, if it gets messed up, no huge loss, right? So let's get started. I'll get the iron heated up. The way this stuff works is uh, you cut out the shape you want, you lay it down. It's usually used on like fabric, t-shirts and stuff like that. And then you iron it down with heat, obviously, and then peel away that protective coating and it leaves your design behind on the surface. So we'll see how this works with a guitar finish, whether it kind of bubbles up the paint and messes up the guitar in some way, or if this just doesn't adhere to the guitar, or if it turns out really cool and gives me a fun option to apply all kinds of little decorations and graphics to guitars, uh, completely devaluing them and uh, leaving behind a disaster for you know the next owner of the guitar. So let's get into it. I'm gonna cut out some rough racing stripe shapes here. I was thinking about, do this is like a four pack. It comes with silver, blue, pink, and purple. I was thinking about doing the blue, pink, and purple do kind of like a uh, 80s My Little Pony rainbow here or something like that. All right, I've got the cutting board here. I should have a ruler. All right, I've got a good idea of how this works. Four sheets of this sparkly stuff. That's kind of neat, that like holographic silver. Ooh, but that purple, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here so far. I hope this works out. I'm excited. <laughs> oh boy, if this works out, this might be uh, my thing on all kinds of future guitars. It's just the right length to put some racing stripes right about there. If it works out, maybe I'll cut out some little fun shapes. I should experiment to see if it will stick to uh, the pick guard. How big do I want to get with these? I feel like I want to start out small, since I'm going to do three colors anyways. Oh, I think I'm supposed to flip it. There's one strip. We'll do a thicker one with the pink. No, we'll do the thicker one with the purple. The purple will go in the middle. All right, let's see what we've got here. Do we want to do like the fender thing where they're separated a little bit? Yeah, I think so. I think that looks cool. Maybe a hotter angle. It's a little rough because there's an arm cutaway here. And I'm wondering how the iron is going to be, you know, if it's going to give me any trouble wrapping it around. And I'm going to just trim it off with the razor on the edge after uh, I get it ironed. Yeah, I think that looks good. Let's fire up the iron. It says to put it on cotton setting, no steam. Hopefully this doesn't screw anything up, but I'm thinking about using this blue tape to hold everything in place. Yeah, hopefully 
the heat of the iron penetrates the blue tape enough that uh, it doesn't cause any problems here with the heat transfer vinyl. Make sure I have a relatively clean surface here. The iron just uh, made a little noise that makes me think that it is done heating up. I'm not going for perfection here. This is mostly just an experiment. Like I said, I don't really care if this guitar lives or dies. <laughs> I'm fairly apathetic towards its existence. I don't honestly even really plan on playing it. I'll play it a little bit after I get these stripes on here, but this is really just me doing an experiment for something I might like to do on other guitars in the future. All right, hot iron. This is it, don't get scared now. It says to hold it down for 15 seconds. I think I'm gonna count to 20 as I go. I'm starting to smell something here. Makes me a little nervous. Oh, is it the... I don't know if it likes this parchment paper. I don't know, it's not looking terribly flat as it's going down. This might be a bad idea. It might just be their protective covering. I might have, it might have been smarter to do one ribbon at a time instead of trying to do them all at once. I'm worried about the parts here in the middle that are bubbling up. I don't know if that's their protective covering or if it is the final heat transfer vinyl that's just not settling. I guess we'll find out at some point here. I think this would have been a lot easier if it wasn't a graphic that wrapped the edges, if I was just doing like stars around. I think those would have been easier to manage than doing a straight stripe. Because I'm really having to deal with the edge wrap here. I'm having to deal with the length a lot because it's, it's buckling in the middle a bit. So I'm having to work the bubbles out with the hot iron. You live and you learn, right? I think it's there. I don't think I want to work it anymore. I've definitely already applied way more heat than the directions called for. Now I'm gonna trim the edges a bit with a razor before I try to pull this off. Oh, had some gunk left over from that blue tape. All right, now the real moment of truth. Uh, I've gotta pull the clear covering off of this and see if that holographic vinyl sticks without it. It's wrinkly, but it's on there. It's a lot flatter than I was expecting it to be. The, the material feels pretty thick with the cover on it. Still, it looks like a piece of ribbon that's glued down and has some wrinkles in it. I'll put some high quality photos of it up there, but it does look pretty dang cool. That's the sort of thing that'll look good on a stage, you know, from 10 feet away or whatever under stage lights. I wanna try one more thing. Um, since I'm here and I'm all set up, I wanna see if this stuff will stick to the pit guard. So there's been some ideas as far as what I should do with this guitar, because I don't wanna keep it. I'm not in love with this guitar, to say the least. Um, we might do some kind of charity auction for it, or we might do some sort of contest for this guitar, or maybe I should just keep doing dumb stuff to it and then just sell it and pocket the money. <laughs> I did buy this guitar with my money. I can do what I want. It's not like it was a gift or provided to me by the company or anything. Put this to the side. I 
wonder if I could iron out those bubbles that are left on here. It's not perfect. I'll say that. But uh, it's not bad either. There's a lot of glue left over from that blue tape. I think that was a mistake doing the blue tape. The heat separated the glue from it. I'm betting that this stuff can come off pretty easily too, especially if you hit it with some Goo Gone, some kind of adhesive solvent. This is a non-permanent modification. I'm not seeing any burn marks or bubbles in the finish on the guitar. I would never do this to a high value guitar. Something anyone cares about. But this guitar, who cares, right? Here's my cutting board. Let's do like a star right there. I'm going full My Little Pony with this thing. Oh, I'm supposed to do it from the other side. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Okay, here goes nothing. This one I can just hold it flat, I don't have to worry. Oh, it went into auto off mode. Damn it. Okay, I think we're hot now. Here goes nothing. This has potential to melt the pick guard, so I'm a little cautious about this, but what have I got to lose, really? Oh boy. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little rough. I was moving it while I was doing it, but that was a huge mistake because it like shifted it and mutated it a little bit. The pickguard is starting to bend and warp as I'm holding it too. I wonder if I can force that out. No, I think it's committed now. <laughs> and it forced the glue out in like a smear. Kind of a wonky star now. It'll look good from 10 feet away. <laughs> oh, you live and you learn. See how it looks on the guitar. Oh, that looks bad. I don't like the way that turned out. Can I pull it off with the blade? This stuff is stuck on there. Man, it's a, uh, it's pretty permanent. That's good news if you get it right the first time. It's bad news if you uh, if you goof up the way I did. You know what? I've got an idea. I've got all this extra gold around. The gold will look good against those colors. Let's just do the whole damn thing, huh? This is just gonna get worse and worse. <laughs> Oh, did I just goof this up? I did. I did it backwards. Here goes nothing, and really nothing. Okay. I wish I had something flat to hold it down with. So it cools flat. Are you entertained? Is this, is this something? Is this something fun? Watch, this will be the most successful video I've ever made because it taps into like an unexpected, like craft crowd. So now my hope is to razor the rest away. I would never do this with a guitar of any real value. These are special circumstances for sure. Gold pit guard. See if I can get that clear coat off. Here we go. Ooh, that is sparkly. That is something else.
All right, now I gotta poke some holes through there for the screws and get it back on the guitar and we'll call this a day. I don't know if we'll call it a successful project, but I feel like I learned things. I scratched my curiosity itch. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> the pit guard is definitely a bit warped from being heated up and ironed, but it's going back down. It's not like it was when it was new, that's for sure. Oh man. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting to watch something like this today, huh? I've got this very 80s My Little Pony, 90s Lisa Frank thing going on. It worked. This is playable. I think it's a cool look. There's a texture to that glitter. I'm interested to see how it wears. I'm betting if I'd played this a lot, which I'm not going to because it's not a fun guitar to play. I keep saying that, but uh, I bet this glitter would wear away with a uh, pick wear, which could be a cool look, like a glitter relic. This stuff is not glitter, it's just holographic tape. Um, based on my experience trying to pull up that star, I don't think this stuff is gonna come up easy at all. I'm, I'd have to hit it with some serious solvents to get it to pull up. I don't think it's gonna pull up off the edges or anything in a serious way. And even if it does, it'll be a little bit of like a relic sort of thing. So anyways, thanks for watching. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments, support us on Patreon. Keep an eye out for what we're gonna do with this guitar. Some kind of charity auction, some sort of giveaway. Um, I'm definitely not going to throw it in the fireplace and burn it or anything like that. Uh, because now I've made it special. I've put my mark on it. <laughs> Someone is going to want this more than they should, and everyone else is going to hate it. All right. Bye, everyone. Stay grounded.